in the salad dressing aisle here, tons of options to choose from. Um, you know, you sort of have the lesser of two evils. We have our full fat dressing or some of them are lighter dressings. A little hint on how they make this nice light product. Well, I've got to get some, you know, really nice texture in there, some good mouth, which only comes from fat. So by the manufacturer, what I do, a little bit of oil down here, okay, lots of water, and a lot of things called different gums, whether it's guar gum, xanthium gum, any sort of stabilizers to get like, this nice emulsification. And the only reason I say that is because you're mostly paying the light or fat-free dressing for a lot of water and a lot of binders to keep it really smooth so the water doesn't separate out from the um, oil. Much better choice would be just to get some of your own oil or vinegar, put dress it on the salad, a little bit of pepper, you can add some different herbs. You're gonna have a lot less preservatives and a lot less sodium that's gonna be in your bottled salad dressings. So the biggest issue with salad dressings is the amount we use. You know, a lot of times we have this nice, gorgeous salad with vegetables and lean protein, etc., and then we douse it in fat. And it usually isn't the good kind of fat. So if you don't have time to make your own salad dressing, and I completely understand, I'd want you to look for salad dressings that have healthy fats in them. So this one, for example, is Expellier Crest Vegetable Oil. A lot of salad dressings, unfortunately, come with trans fats. And you'll notice that if it says the words partially hydrogenated oil on it, if it says that anywhere in the ingredient label, it's going to have trans fats. This one uses vegetable oil, so canola, which is going to be part healthier, and it's expellier press, which means it's not going to contain any of those trans fats. So this is by Annie's, just a nice, easy vinaigrette, oil, vinegar, um, some spices, shake it up. Another good option is any of these Italian dressings. You can see the oil, that way it's not hydrogenated. Yeah, it's a lot of oil, so once again, be cautious. Going back to that two tablespoon rule, but size of a golf ball should be plenty for a salad. If you want a little bit more, add some balsamic vinegar, add a little bit of lemon juice. Um, all of those would be ways to up the flavor quotient, but keeping the amount of fat down. 